Straight to the point, let me show you how you can turn a cheap mic into an expensive mic. Very simple steps. Let's go. Now, first of all, let me play my vocal. Trust me, I'm using a very cheap mic. So let me show you what I did. Listen to the vocals without the beat. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Lonely, then we say I tell Listen to the air. Listen to the top end. How the top end is smooth. Very, very smooth on the beat. Right? So now let me show you without too much talking, guys. But if you are new, please hit that subscription button and turn on that notification. So anytime I post, you get to know because I'm going to show you something that will blow your mind right now. First, this is my chain. Let me off the plugin, then play the vocals. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Slowly, then we say. Now let me put it. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. This is magica. Magica. If you don't get it, rewind it, play it over and over. You hear the difference. Now, this is what you do. Now, first of all, when you... Okay, let me off this one. Let's load the plugin. Mic mood. A classic microphone modeler. That's it. So, first of all, when you open this mic, this is what it looks like. You see here, this is bypass. This is your input. That means your source mic, the microphone you are using. Then here is the software mic. The hardware, this is what you do, you just bypass, leave it alone, don't even touch it because you can still change. Maybe you are using, let's say a road, a road NT1, you choose and then you go here you, before you select this one, but leave this side alone, just leave it alone. Come here now, pick the mic you want. I usually go for what works for me best almost every time is the Sony, C800G. Yeah, this is a very, very expensive mic. So I choose this one, then play the vocals. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Without. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Slowly, then we say, I dare lonely. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Immediately I own the plugin, you will just discover the vocals are getting more brighter. So, now, this is what I will do. You can increase the proximity effect. The proximity is how close you are to the mic. Okay, let me say I go more closer to the mic I'm using right now. Now I'm talking to you very, very close in front of my mic. You hear the way it's sounding very, very deep, right? So if I bring this proximity like this, play this vocal. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Now it sounds like the artist is very, very close to the mic. You can start to reduce. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Lonely, then we say Adele. I love it here around 10. Nice. And again, you still have more options. You can still put some saturation. Let's put the saturation on. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. Lonely, then we say Adele. Lonely. Slowly, they won't pull me down slowly. So, so simple to set up, guys. This is all about the plugin. Trust me, you are good to go with this. Another thing, another plugin. There are many, many plugins. Not like this is the only plugin. We have Virtual Mix Rack. This is it. I usually use this one in my recording chain. Like, my vocal has to pass through this mic. Then, before I will mix them. After I mix them... I'll add this one now. This is, you are adding this one at the end, at the end of your chain. Yes. So, this one, I add this one in my way in, then this way out. So, that's cool.